<laughs> We're live. <laughs> hey, everybody. Just making some notes here. Sorry. <laughs> Happy Sunday. And uh, I hope you all have something to work on and a beverage. I've got... Um, Got a cute little mug with a bunny rabbit on it here. <laughs> we we um we had a bit of a cool start to the morning. Uh, we didn't have any power for the first few hours of the day, so it's back on. Hopefully, it'll stay on. <laughs> and the house is slowly warming up again. Yum! All right. So um, we thought since we're getting close to Valentine's Day that we would talk about hearts. <laughs> We've made a whole bunch of them here on the show in the past few years. Um, in fact, I'm leaning on one right here. This is um, this is the big fluffy version, uh, big fluffy pillow version of this cute little guy that's behind me. We made this little heart pillow a few years ago. And then a little while later, we um, made a big fluffy version of it. So it's the exact same pattern as this one. Uh, you're just using uh, a bulky weight size six yarn and an eight millimeter hook. And I used the Burnat blanket yarn for this particular heart. And it's made in two pieces. You sew it together and you stuff it. I actually stuffed this one with chopped up t-shirt. Um, so it's a lot more, um, it's got a lot more heft to it than say if I had a used pillow stuffing. But I absolutely love how unironically <laughs> This heart, this pillow, because it's very soft and squishy. It's nice to, to lean against, but it seems to be somehow the perfect shape. I can flip it upside down or right side up, and it's always sort of the right shape to kind of keep me sitting upright if I'm sitting on the couch or if I'm sitting on a chair. So I actually have another one that I, I have at work so I can sit properly at, <laughs> at work too. But uh, yeah, so if you're, oh, if you're looking for a good pillow that has nice lumbar support, I highly recommend making one of these. Um, like I said, I used a Burnat blanket. You know those big, big balls of the Burnat blanket yarn? So not the little ones, but the really big ones. I think they're like 300, 350 grams, somewhere in that neighborhood. They're the big ones. Um, you can easily get a whole pillow out of one of those and it won't take very... How did you sneak the ukulele in here? It's very small. <laughs> I put it in my pocket. We have a new member. Oh my god! Welcome, Rayte. <laughs> Rayte, hey, welcome to the family. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Mister Mister, did just hold out the ukulele for you. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard that in a while. Excuse me, I have a little sip of my tea. Um, yeah, so here we are, heart. So that's the first heart I recommend if you need a nice lumbar support. I'm enjoying it right now. Um, the other heart we did recently was our little granny style heart. So if you didn't see that, we put that up as a quick fix on Monday of this past week. Then on Friday, we turned it into an actual granny square. And I thought it would be kind of fun today while I'm sitting with you. We thought we would sort of talk about using different textured yarns, um, sort of getting into branching out and using different yarns or different sized yarns and how they size up and down for projects. So that's kind of one of the reasons that I I mentioned this guy. I'll pull it back out again. So this, for example, this is the exact same pattern. There's obviously quite a big difference between them. But if you're new to crochet or just playing with yarn in general, um, getting used to the different sizes of yarn and using different hook sizes with them is kind of a fun, it's fun to experiment. And also you can learn a lot about how things size up and size down. So one of the biggest questions we get asked here regularly on the show is, how can I make that bigger? How can I make that smaller? Um, and one of the easiest ways you can make something bigger or smaller is just by using a thicker yarn and a bigger hook to go bigger or a thinner yarn and a smaller hook to go smaller. So for example, that is the little mini heart pillow pattern and it's made using a medium size four worsted weight yarn. So that's close to a DK, a little bit bigger than a DK weight, uh, but a size four. And I think we used, I can't remember if we used a G, like a, a 4.25 millimeter hook or a five millimeter hook, but either one of those would work just fine. And I stuffed that with pillow stuffing and that's how big it is. So if you see it sort of sitting in my hands, I think I've got pretty normal sized hands. That's the size of that heart. It's probably no more than maybe six or seven inches tall, 15, 17, 17 centimeters tall, but use the exact same pattern. So don't change the pattern at all but use a much bigger yarn. So that's a bulky weight yarn, that's the Burnett blanket and a size eight millimeter hook. So 
say size 4.25, five millimeter hook, size eight millimeter hook and a thicker yarn and it sizes up considerably. Mm -hmm. So that's the exact same pattern. There is no change <laughs> to the pattern, but the hook and the side, the hook and the yarn size really makes a big difference. And that's something you wanna keep in mind when you're making any pattern, especially if you're making clothing. Um, that's why a lot of patterns have a gauge um, included in them, especially clothing, because clothing is very size specific. So you wanna have a gauge, you wanna test your gauge. And that's how you can size up or size down something. So we kind of wanted to talk about that today because we do get a lot of questions about it. But in the meantime, I wanna make some hearts because Valentine's Day is coming up. So let's put that back behind me, there we go. Um, so we did make this little sweet thing. It's only two rows. So that's why I thought it might be kind of fun to experiment with it today uh, on the show. That's our little granny style quick fix heart. And I thought it would be fun to try, I found a tiny little scrap of some cotton yarn. This is some variegated cotton yarn. So remember I said I used up all my cotton yarn and I didn't manage to get any the last time we went yarn shopping. So I could kind <laughs> of use some more cotton yarn. I'm just saying. I'm not falling for that trick again. <laughs> Hmm. Anyway, that's all the cotton I have left. I found this balled up in my little, uh, I have a little stash of, of mini balls. We're just kidding, guys. <laughs> but it's true. I don't actually have any more yarn, uh, any more cotton yarn. So that's, I was happy when I found that because I wanted to try and make a little mini face scrubby using the exact same heart pattern. So I thought I would show you guys what this cotton, so it's also a size four, how that works up into a scrubby and how it looks and how it feels, especially since it's a variegated color. And right now, I've only got hearts made in solid colors. The other thing I thought would be fun to try, and this is kind of fun too, if you are new to crochet or new to yarn play and you want to experiment with different textured yarn, I often recommend that if you're new to messing around with different textured yarns or even sized or weighted yarns that are way out of your comfort zone, like a super bulky or maybe a super fine, it's fun to Take a really simple pattern, a really short one. This, for example, is just two rows and you have a little heart and <laughs> experiment with it. What are you kicking about, Mr. Stitches? Shell says, Valentine's Day alert, cotton, cotton. So I'm being manipulated oh. that I'm supposed <laughs> to buy you cotton yarn. Nice. <laughs> I guess everyone else is picking up on your cues and I'm sitting here like, la la la, chocolate, and candy. <laughs> Fits, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, this is tasty candy. Yeah, speaking of which, I do have a little, uh, I have a little bowl of treats with me today. I'm going to try and remember to have a couple. I also um, have a bowl of treats. You have a bowl of treats too? I want to show my that, treats. That, those look pretty. Yours are pretty. Mm -hmm. Yours are all lovely pastel colors. Uh, these are little peanut butter. Those are Reese peanut butter eggs, peanut butter chocolate eggs. So I might have a couple of Actually, those. Actually, can I have a couple of those? Yes, you can have a couple. <laughs> Mmm, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> kind of have a little treat, you know, when you're sitting and chatting and doing a little crochet. <laughs> yeah, so I thought I would try and make a couple of these hearts using the scrubby yarn because one of the reasons <laughs> you keep sorry, giggling. Sorry. <laughs> Toby's making me laugh. I um this time I have nothing to unwrap. I've pre-unwrapped my candy. <laughs> so everything is pre-unwrapped. So I won't be interrupted by so, so I <laughs> So I'm going to keep the crinkling to a minimum, okay. except we, <laughs> we have a super chat from Elle. Hi, Elle. Elle says, loved the new chibi video. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, that one made us giggle. Uh, we need more of those. So talented, Mr. and Stitches. I want, I want somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> I gave Al a bonus. Holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> Maybe this should be the Mr. and Stitches show. The Mr. and Stitches show. <laughs> I just like shove you out of the way. And just... <laughs> Start ripping. <laughs> Start ripping. Oh my goodness, there's another super chat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> From Andrea. Thank you, Andrea. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you, Andrea. Andrea says, thank you, Jada. Your videos helped me heal. 
while on bed rest oh. for the past 18 months. Oh my gosh. Can you use Karen Chunky Cakes for your infinity scarf? Karen Chunky Cakes. Okay, I, I haven't... First of all, I hope you're feeling better, Andrea. That's quite a long time to be stuck in bed. Good thing you can crochet. That keeps our brains active, doesn't it? Um, uh, if your chunky cake is a size six, uh, and I would say, see how many times you can wrap it around the end of your finger if you're not so sure. If the chunky weight yarn only wraps maybe three times, so between your second knuckle and the end of your finger, which I would say on me is about, oh gosh, maybe six centimeters, so just under two inches. Or just over two inches. Um, if you can, if it only wraps, say three or four times, that might be a bit too thick to make your uh, to make a scarf to make to, to use the corner to corner method to make a scarf. Um, you still can. You want to use a much bigger hook, but you certainly don't want to do eight blocks across because that will be really big, and you'll probably run out of yarn, or you'll need two balls of it uh, before you get to a decent scarf length, at least something that can wrap around your neck at least, you know, once with a little bit of extra. Um, if you do, you might try the size, say a size eight millimeter hook, and maybe only four blocks across, um, maybe five. It depends, again, how thick that yarn really is. I know the Burnett Pop Bulky is really thick, and I think I have, actually have one of those. Pardon me, I'll go get it. Okay, so this is a Bernat bulky, and I'm just gonna pull the middle out there. And if I wrap this around my finger, um, not too, too tightly, because I don't want it to be. So I get in between the end of my finger and my knuckle, there's four wraps already, so that's not, um, too ridiculously bulky, but I would still use an eight millimeter hook with that and maybe go four or five blocks across. So don't increase all the way to eight, maybe just increase up to four or five. Again, measure it, you know, you can measure it, uh, but definitely use the bigger hook. It'll be certainly warm and I think it would be pretty, but just to get a, a long enough scarf, you might need two complete balls of that just because of how thick it is. But yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, good question, though, and that kind of like works well with what we're talking about today, sort of using different sized yarns, sort of different weights or different textures whenever you're experimenting with an existing pattern. You definitely want to work up a little gauge. So like I said, if you're starting a corner to corner scarf with a super bulky or a bulky weight yarn, then work the first few rows, which will be so many blocks, and just keep measuring. Keep your little measuring tape handy because, as you know, it 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 increases to the width that you like first before you can work the rectangular part. So once you've got a width of a scarf that you like, six, seven, eight inches, no more, no more, no wider than that, um, then you can start going long ways and it doesn't really matter how many blocks across it is. <laughs> um, we, have a, we had a super chat, but then it kind of, like the message retracted. So I don't know if that's still a super chat or if it's like, is there a name associated with the, it? The, there was a name and it's kind of, it disappeared. Oh, so. oh gosh. I'm just shouting it out in case it is. <laughs> Hi, a, thank you. In case it's a glitch. <laughs> we can't see your name, <laughs> but thank you. Uh, yeah, the chat was acting a little funny. The earlier. chat was acting a little funny earlier. I don't know yeah. if that has anything to do with the power failure we experienced earlier. Today. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There was a name and then it, and then it disappeared. So I don't know if it's there or not, but I just wanted to mention it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> um, so I thought before we get into playing with a scrubby and making a heart, I'm going to quickly make one of these using the cotton yarn. So the hearts we made on Monday were also using a medium size four yarn. So this is also a medium size four yarn or like a little bit bigger than a DK. <laughs> you can have a little, a little luau. <laughs> I like it. Oh my gosh. We have three in a row. Oh so. my gosh. <laughs> First of all, I believe that earlier um, Super Chat was from Samantha. Okay. So Samantha redid it and says, Thank Hello, Jada, Mr. and Stitches. Thank you both for all that you do. I've had a rough month so far and felt like a, like a gloomy gust. Oh. Then I saw about the live show and my day was made joyful. Thanks again. <laughs> well, we're so glad you could join us. That's so great. I know what you mean. The January and February 
it takes a toll on Mr. and Stitches and I too. Oh, Sometimes we're yes, just it really does. You like, kind of like drag uh, out like the days are it's cold, cold, it's and dark, windy there's not a lot of sun. And, mm -hmm. um, you get cabin fever. It just <laughs> it just makes everything feel yeah. gross. <laughs> Sometimes it helps to just just go out for a little bit, mm. you know. Even if it's just to drive, even if it's just, food even if it's just to drive to the grocery <laughs> store, it helps. <laughs> um, getting back to everyone, we also have a new member, oh, Candace. Yay. Welcome to the family, Candace. And we have a super chat from Jerry. I believe it's Jerry, not Jerry. Gary. I'm going to say Jerry. With a J? With uh, a G E R R Y. Oh, I think that's Jerry. Jerry, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, uh, Jerry says, "Thank you for taking the time to help us." Uh, you make such beautiful creations. Oh, well, help us make such beautiful creations. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate hearing that. Thank <laughs> you, guys. Um, yeah, so we thought we would try and make a couple of things. I want, I, one of you mentioned that this would make a cute little face scrubby. So on Monday, when we published this little quick fix, um, in the comments, one of you said something about it being a cute face scrubby. And I totally agree. I love little tiny scrubby pads for my face. And of course, if you make them out of cotton, like I'm going to do here, you can toss them in the washing machine and use them over and over again. So I thought I would make one while we were sitting here chatting today, just to sort of see how it works out, how it sizes, and if I like the feel of it. So I already like the feel of cotton yarn. This is a size four. I'm going to use the same hook size that we used in the quick fix, which is a 5.5 millimeter or an I9 um, in the US, size five in the UK. And I'm going to make it the same way. So I started with a cinch circle when we made the quick fix version. But of course, if you have troubles with the cinch circle, some people call it a magic loop, um, you can also just chain five and join to the first chain with a slip stitch to make like a, a ring that you can work into. So it's the same way if you would start a granny square. Uh, but I like the sliding loop or the magic circle or the cinch circle, however you want to call it, uh, just because you can make that center really, really tight and small. So I've got like a really, really tight, small center. Don't particularly want to have a big hole in the middle of my heart. So chain three, once you've got whatever ring you're starting with, and then finish off that first shell with a couple of double crochets. So the chain three starts um, us off and it counts as a double crochet. And then you're just basically working the first row of a regular granny square. Chain two and work a shell, chain two and work a shell. And of course a shell is three double crochets. Any of you watch our granny square videos, you know I must say that over and over and over again. <laughs> And you want basically four chain two corners and four three double crochet shells in your first row. <laughs> Saves it. I love it. <laughs> Gotta save that chord. You know what? I actually love that you got the ukulele out because it feels like a little bit beachy. It's a been little, in my pocket this whole time. A, a, you a just little didn't bit know. more. I didn't notice. Is that a ukulele in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Um, we have a super chat from Granny Banani. Granny Banani, hi! How's Thank Papa you. Papaya doing? Did you? We've did, been giggling about that all week. I'd like Friday. to know if you washed the basket or burned the basket. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what you did. Granny Banani says, hi cuties, almost missed you. <laughs> I'm glad you dropped by. Thank you. <laughs> She'll let us know if she washed it or burned it. We'll 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 find out. We'll find out. <laughs> oh gosh! All right. So once you've got your four shells, all of them separated by chain two, and remember to don't forget your last chain two. <laughs> pull your little cinch circle nice and tight, and then you can join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain three, and that is the first row of a granny heart or a granny square. So I love that it starts out like that. You've got four shells, each of them are three double crochet and four chain two corners. I like to slip stitch across the two stitches next to me and then slip stitch into the chain two space because I like to start things in a chain two space. Now that's if I was going to make a double, if I was going to continue with a regular granny square, but this is a heart. So you just want to slip stitch into the next stitch. So I'm just going to pull up on my my hook here. <laughs> so we joined with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three, and then I've slip stitched into the middle stitch, which is this one, middle stitch, top of the middle Sorry, stitch. Sorry, I just need to share with you. Okay. Granny Banani said she washed it. <laughs> good, good call. <laughs> she washed it, because it was her first one. That's awesome. Oh, oh, we got some. <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to take this opportunity to have a little chat. I'm not done. <laughs> so I play you eat. Um, we have a super chat from Angela. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> and Angela says, thank you so much for teaching me to crochet and... Mm. Reading patterns. Oh. Can you discuss different cottons for kitchen versus clothing from Phoenix, Arizona, where summers are hot? Oh, that sounds great right now. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. Uh, yes, I can totally talk about different kinds of cotton. Cotton is cotton. 100% cotton is 100% cotton. It's really the way the yarn is spun. So if you see something that says mercanized cotton, so if the ball of yarn says mercanized cotton, You'll probably notice that that cotton yarn doesn't have a lot of little fluffies or little flyaway fibers that are sort of sticking out of it. It looks really neat and clean and smooth. Mercanized cotton yarn, and I think it's just basically the way they spin it, they spin it really, really tightly, um, is great for clothing. It holds up well, it washes, it's cotton so it breathes, and it just, it's beautiful. Sometimes it even has a little bit of a luster to it. So I highly recommend, recommend cotton that's in mercanized, it's mercanized cotton for clothing. Um, most crochet thread is mercanized cotton. You can get polyester and I think you can get acrylic crochet thread too, but typically it's cotton. And if you have any of that lying around, you can see it, it's really, really, really tightly spun and it doesn't have a lot of little wispies. So for example, this yarn, you may not be able to see it, but I'm gonna hold it up as close as I can here. This cotton yarn is kind of loosely spun and there's little tiny, little tiny fluffies just sort of like sitting on top of it or sticking out of the yarn. <laughs> it's nice and soft, but this is what I would use for kitchen dishcloths or even cushions, sort of stuff around the house. It's also good for making the odd blanket. You can do that too, because blankets can be fluffy. Cotton breathes, that's why a lot of people like to use cotton. This is a, like a Bernat Handicrafter cotton. So it's not finely spun. It's a little on the looser side. It's not as expensive typically as mercanized cotton, but it's much better for home decor. <laughs> we have another super chat from Elle. <laughs> Thank you, Elle. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could use our emojis in the super chat. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. That's so cool. That's neat. Uh, Elle says, I think you two are so talented, you need to host a children's show. <laughs> Thanks, Elle. Thank you, Elle. That'd that's, be fun. That's cute. That would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. Oh, my gosh. Um, okay, so we're back to our little heart here. Uh, I joined with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three. I slip stitched into the stitch right next to it. So I'm starting in the middle of that shell. Now I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to work eight double crochet into the very next chain two space. So Mr. and Stitches probably has this link hanging around. Um, but it's the, if you're just joining us, this is the heart, the granny style heart crochet quick fix that we did on Monday. Uh, the granny style heart. Yes, yes, I do have that link around here. And I'm just working it up in some cotton. And again, in reference to that previous question about the different kinds of cotton, this is a not a mercanized cotton. This is just a regular um, cotton that's good for dishcloths or washcloths. And since I'm turning it, I'm turning it into a little scrub cloth for my face. So I want it to be nice and soft and I don't mind the fluffies um, because they're, they're not that fluffy. It's not going to fall apart on me. So after you have eight double crochet in that chain two space, chain one, find the next chain two corner space and just single crochet into it. And of course you can go back and use this uh, tutorial if I'm zipping along too quickly for you. Chain one, and then since we're now bought the bottom of our little square that started, we're gonna find the middle stitch of that shell, so the middle of those three, and we're gonna work two single crochet, chain one, two single crochet into it. <laughs> Are you just gonna sort of serenade while I'm not talking? <laughs> Uh, no, I'm serenading because we have a super chat oh from Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Jenny's Arts and Crafts. Ooh. Uh, Jenny says, I'm making two of the 2019 calendar blankets. Oh, awesome. No kidding. Awesome. Also learned the C2C 
from you and have made six Afghans since September. Whoa! Plus lots of scarves. Thank you. Thank you. Oh wow. my gosh. You've you been have busy. been busy. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. I love that. Just a sea of blankets. Yeah. All right, into that middle stitch at the bottom, you're working two single crochet, chain one, two single crochet. You're gonna chain one to leave, find the next chain two corner space, single crochet into it. We're working sort of the reverse that we worked on the way down. Chain one, and into the last corner space, you're working eight double crochet, eight double crochet. Uh, for any of you that are having issues viewing the video, um, you can try reloading refreshing the page you can try leaving and then clicking back on sometimes that works sometimes it's just the internet <laughs> yeah and probably our internet and, and most likely ours <laughs> um, not always but all right there we go we've got eight double crochet worked into that last chain two corner we're almost done that looks like the chocolate i'm eating oh yeah it's all those pretty colors yeah. you're going to chain one and then into that so Right down here in row one, that shell from row one, you're gonna find the top of that middle stitch from row one, and you're just gonna slip stitch into it. So it's the same place that you started the row in. Slip stitch to join. Snip yarn, fasten off, weave in your tail. Yeah, if the video does cut out, guys, we'll just um, start it again on, a, on another, it'll be like a new video. Yes, that's happened to us before. <laughs> That sounds so sweet. I love we it. We have a super chat from Ava. Thank you, Ava. Ava says, love your channel. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs> Everybody's getting some, some ukulele love today. A few more questions about your gloves. You um, you should explain that again. Sure. Um, these are copper. They're called copper. That's the name brand. They're um, helpful for people who have arthritis. So I have rheumatoid arthritis and... Apparently they have copper running through them. So they're nothing I made. These are actually something I bought. You can usually find them at the, like the super or not the supermarket, the pharmacy or um, say a place that sells workwear. Like we have a, a chain of stores in, in Canada called Mark's Work Warehouse. And they specialize in workwear for people who are, you know, very active in their job as opposed to. You can also get them at sporting goods stores. Yes, they have them too. So um, that's where we picked up this pair. Um, they've got grip on the inside and they kind of offer some compression. So if you have problems with your, um, your knuckles or your wrists, like I do, and I'll show you how dark down they far down they go. So they do cover my wrist. Um, I kind of wish that there was a little more compression in the wrist, but, um, all in all, they're pretty good. I find, uh, they help. They don't help a tremendous amount, but they do, especially if I have a, a flare up. And if any of you have arthritis, you know what I mean? You wake up in the morning and some mornings you're just worse than others and you're really, really stiff and everything's a little more swollen than normal. Um, I find that wearing these helps. It helps, uh, especially if I want to do something like crochet or type. Um, and I've now, I guess, how long have I been using them? A few months now, anyway. It's been a few months, at least. Uh... I'd say at least three to four months. Yeah, three to four months. I like to give something a long time before I comment on it, um, you know, with any kind of real assertion, but I like them. I feel that they help. This message is just playing more guitar. I love it. <laughs> that was nice. That's it. <laughs> um... This is another super chat. Oh my goodness gracious. From Tressa. Tressa. Thank you, Tressa. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. T-R-E-S-A. Tressa. Mm-hmm. Tressa says, hi, Jade and Mr. and Stitches. Hope your day is going awesome. I have those same gloves and I love them. No kidding. Yes. Yeah, they really, well, I find too, like other than the compression, having that extra grip, because if you have arthritis, gripping things is pretty much out of the picture. <laughs> um, it's <laughs> really great. Nothing falls out of your hands, like or stuff doesn't slide out of your hands quite as frequently as it does if you don't have the gloves on. So I find they help. So, if um, you, And they're not that expensive. So if you want to like, if you're thinking about, if you're considering some kind of compression glove for, for help with your arthritis, and they also make other things. They make things for your knees and your elbows. So if you have it in different places, then I recommend you give it a try. It's I think we paid 
almost nineteen dollars Canadian yeah, for this pair. Yeah, they were twenty. So 20 that's bucks, that's roughly. not too bad in my was opinion. It, was it? It was under, under twenty. Under 20? Yeah, it was under twenty. Okay. Yeah. Okay, back to the hearts. So there is a heart like the one we made on Monday, and there it is in a variegated um, cotton yarn. So already love seeing a heart with a rainbow sort of hue to it, and. It's nice and soft because it's cotton. So I think a whole set of these as little face scrubbies would be great. You can get them wet, you can take off your mascara. And the neat thing about a heart shape is that you've got different little parts that you can, you know, like this is nice underneath your eyebrow. Um, you can use a bigger part of it on the, the sort of the, the, the bone of your cheek and a uh, little tiny point if you have to get into little tiny spots, maybe like in the corner of your eye, between your eye and your nose. So that's kind of a neat shape for a facial scrubby. I hadn't really considered it. So a few of you mentioned it would make a cute face scrubby in the comments and shout out to you guys. That's an awesome idea. And it's a nice way to use up some of your cotton scraps if you have any. Uh, like I said, that's a little tiny ball. I've already got one. I can probably get another one anyway out of that. So that's it in a variegated cotton, love it. Here's the real challenge today. I wanna make the same heart using this scrubby yarn. So I think a couple weeks ago, we made a, we did a review and a quick tutorial on a simple dishcloth using the scrubby yarn. Um, Mama and Stitches had knit us one using the scrubby, but I hadn't had a chance to use it yet. So I wanted to try a crocheted version. So the knit version is great, but it's thinner. So not that there's anything wrong with that, but the Crocheted version obviously is going to be a thicker fabric than the knit version and it's got a nice weight and we haven't used it yet in the kitchen. We're still using the one that Mama uh, in Stitches knit us, uh, but it works well. So the scrubby really works well in the kitchen and to everybody who asked about it maybe hurting pots and pans, it's no. not like steel wool. It's no. polyester, so it's not going to hurt your pots and pans. It scratches just enough to get the Just the enough food to, off to get and, the food off yeah. and to, to so that you don't have to use your fingers and, and all of that extra pressure. I, I love it. I do too. Yeah. Um, and since I've got, you know, the arthritis, any extra help I can get scrubbing is really great. I'm really grateful for because then it takes some of the pressure off my, my knuckles and my wrist. So we made... We made a really great dishcloth. I really like that. Um, can't wait to put it into the kitchen. But like I say, we're still using the one moment stitches made. So in the meantime, I thought it might be kind of fun to make a few hearts using the same stuff because this is a neat way to experiment with textured yarn in a pattern that you're familiar with. So if you're new to using textured yarn, you wanna pick a pattern that you're familiar with. You know exactly where the next stitch is gonna be. And it's you're not sitting there trying to follow a pattern and crochet with a kind of yarn that you're not really used to. So I'm gonna see what the heart looks like using this. I also thought it would make a good little scrubby for the kitchen because you don't always want a great big dishcloth. Sometimes you just want something small that you can, you know, scrub little tiny corners with and that's what we're gonna do. She says, having a sip of her tea. <laughs> this little ukulele is making me wanna to go to Hawaii now. <laughs> I don't need to hear a ukulele to want to go to Hawaii. <laughs> we got three super chats in a row. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to work through them here. Okay. First, from Bro Bronwyn. 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 Yes. Bronwyn. Thank you for correcting me. Bronwyn. <laughs> I'm new to that's crochet. That's a Welsh name, I think. <laughs> Probably Thank because you, it's pounds. So that's going to be from the UK. Yeah. Um, Bron Bronwyn. I'm new to crochet and you've helped me. Thank you. Aw, thank you, Bronwyn. <laughs> <laughs> um, Holly says, Hi, Jen, Mr. and Stitches. Hi, My Holly. mom has rheumatoid arthritis and her hands, um, in her hands, and she recently tried acupuncture and it helped a little. No kidding. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Holly. Thank you. That's something to consider. Great tip. Yeah. And from Jacques, Jackie. Jackie? Jackie with a Q. -U. Also from the UK, I believe, with a Q U. Jackie? Yeah. Jackie. <laughs> what is scrubby yarn? I'm from the UK. Okay. <laughs> I was right. Jackie. Oh, let me take the, the little thing. Yeah, up. you can show the label. So scrubby yarn, we did a we did a um a review um a little while ago. Mr. You know what? I will, be able to find I will that. post the video that does that's about we that. also did a yarn shopping um haul. We we went yarn shopping for the first time in over a year and this is one of the yarns that we got while we were shopping. Um so that's the label of it. It's it's a red heart this is a red heart brand. There's lots of different brands. Um everybody in the comments was saying that Mary Maxim has something called uh, scrubology. Uh Burnett has one that I think is 
scrub it or it has a cute little scrubby name. So they all kind of have a name that insinuates what it's for, scrubbing dishes. Um, and basically the yarn is just, I'm gonna see if I can hold it up there. It's, this is polyester. I know they make it in cotton as well, um, but it's, it's spun in such a way that there's little tiny bits and pieces that sort of break off from the, that are spun. So it's not little fluffy tendrils. It's actually spun uh, fiber that break off from the rest of the spinning yarn. And it just creates a nice sort of scrubs. You can scrub a pot or scrub a dish um, a little harder than you normally would with just a straight old regular dishcloth. Um, and it works, it's kind of neat stuff. And we just got it for the first time what in the beginning of January? So this is this is still pretty new to me. Yeah, I made the one dish cloth, but mm -hmm. now I'm going to try making a heart with it. And like I said in that video um, where we talked about the actual yarn, and we did a bit of a review on it. In the video, I used I think I used a five and a half millimeter. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I think I used the five and a half millimeter, or did I not? Maybe mm -hmm. I used something larger. Anyway, I did say that it's better to use the larger hook with this yarn just because it's it will make it easier to see your stitches. So I'm definitely going to use a six and a half. I think this is a six. Oh, this is just a six. Six or a J, six millimeter hook to make my little heart um, scrubby today. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with the cinch circle and I'm going to chain three. I just want to answer, uh, Daniel has a question sure. about finding crochet scissors. Okay. Um, we have a shop page on our website that has links to um, online uh, shops like Amazon that where you can find yarn needles. We have little scissors. Um, I think we have links for yarn and stuff like that. So you can try that. Try our website shop page mm -hmm. or you can try... Um, uh, any crafting supply store. Yeah, so the, the little um, scissors that I've got, I think I'm going to... And usually f uh, stores that sell fabric. Yes. They they always have little bit, bits and bobs they have that nice they cash here, and they usually have really nice ones, and then they have the little cute ones that fit in your, your bag and stuff. Mm -hmm. If you're referring to... Um... If you're referring to the ones that I commonly use, so the little fairy scissors, um, these are actually embroidery scissors. Mama and Stitches bought them for me, and I think she got them at Fabricland. Yes. Mama, if you're watching, please feel free to correct me. Um, but I'm pretty sure they came from Fab Fabricland is a chain of stores here in um, in Ontario and I think right across Canada. Yes, Fabricland. But lots of people have mentioned that they've seen them for sale on Amazon too. Uh, but these are actually embroidery scissors, so they're meant for like finer snipping. <laughs> I'm going to serenade you all day, I think so. even when the live stream's <laughs> over. I'm just going to follow you around and just... <laughs> just la 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 happy, 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 happy time. Okay, so... All right. I'm actually... You okay with that? <laughs> <laughs> For real, though, we have two super chats here. Mm. So um, the first one is from Angela. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> Angela says, please discuss when to buy more pricey yarns. So oh. please discuss when to buy more pricey yarns. When to buy pricey yarns. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to write that down so that I don't forget Yeah, it. and the second one is Lala Gamma. Hi, Lala. <laughs> uh, gloves like yours sell at DH Gate. So I'm guessing this is U.S. A, a U.S. store? DH Gate? DH Gate online. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. For six dollars to twenty dollars at local stores great wow if you can get them for six bucks that's a great woo. that's a that's a deal uh, yeah. loves yeah both tons <laughs> making hearts as gifts now Aww. lots of hearts and hugs and kisses <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you, you. <laughs> um, um getting back to angela though um i'm wondering maybe you can clarify what you mean by that angela like um you mean like when is mild to, to invest i i can the question from that uh, point of view first of all if you're wondering when when's a good time to go yarn shopping always if it's on sale <laughs> <laughs> sales are sales ding, are the ding, best ding, 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 ding. if you shop in a in a store that allows you to use coupons and definitely make use of the coupons so if you're going to buy sort of pricier more expensive yarns try to get it on sale and try to get it um if you can use coupons so okay. that's really great yeah so angela replied and says yes like things like alpaca and mohair yeah if you're gonna buy that definitely look for sale um also 
have a project in mind. So if you're like me and you walk into a yarn store, you get total overload and you just put everything in your cart and you don't have a project in mind for it. Um, it's definitely recommended if you're going to buy pricier yarns, like the, the natural fibers, like the mohair, the alpaca, the wool, stuff like that, um, bamboo, linen, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to want to have a project in mind. So you know exactly how much you want to go and get or how much you want to order, and you have that project ready to go. If you've never worked with that kind of yarn before, and it's your first time, pick a really simple project. So let's say a hat. A hat is a small project. Um, you can make it. We have a hat pattern, for example, that you can use um, with just about any weight of yarn, any fiber of yarn and any size hook because it's based on measurements, not on stitch count. So a gauge-less pattern is a great one to start with if you're going to try out a kind of yarn that you've never used before. Um, and that goes for anything, whether it's a funny fiber or a funny texture or whatever, but especially if it's an expensive yarn, because you don't want to screw up and ruin the yarn. A lot of these really nicer yarns are not as forgiving as something like cotton or acrylic. They don't, if you like have to frog it and pull it out, it, it sometimes they knit, the fibers start knitting together and it doesn't come apart very easily. So you have to be a little more gentle with these kinds of fibers. And the more expensive the yarn, frequently, the more you have to be gentle with it. And holy cow, pay attention to the washing instructions. If it says, do not put in a washing machine, do not put it in a washing machine because you will ruin it on the first wash. And then all of that hard work will be for nothing. Um, so when you're dealing with more expensive yarn, you just have to take a lot more of a careful approach to it, but definitely have a project in mind and try to get it on sale. And that's my best advice for that sort of stuff. Um, the the chat is acting a little funny, guys. Oh, so okay. And we're gonna do our best here to to get. Calm. I'm noticing that it keeps refreshing, and it. Um, Are we losing people? Yeah, like I can't even. Um, I can't even move it around, so it's acting a bit funny. But it's probably because our internet is is you know slowing down and well if you guys can still see us and hear us please let us know because um we <laughs> are we still coming through <laughs> that, that okay? would be helpful for us to know <laughs> i'm i'm working away here on this little heart <laughs> e peaches says i am attracted to fancy small scissors too i'll buy them even if i don't need them <laughs> sometimes when something look, that's that's impulse buying yes Ooh, that's pretty but they are so pretty. But here's the thing, uh, e-peaches. If you're buying something that you're probably going to use, like I, I could probably buy a pair of scissors every <laughs> year, especially if they were cute. And it doesn't matter because I'm totally going to use them. I use my tools, especially for crochet, constantly. So I'm thinking <laughs> that a pretty little... A pretty little um, collection of cute scissors would not only be a neat way to decorate the craft room, it would be a really useful thing to have too. <laughs> Okay, you have to follow me around for the rest of the day doing that. That's yeah, it. do I have to sing too? <laughs> yeah. We have a super, super chat. Oh my goodness. From Tiffany. Thank you, Tiffany. And Tiffany says, I bought yarn for my blanket. They are variegated yarns in blue, brown, and green. Oh, Though I have only found one green, which is a light slash medium colored yarn, I need help finding a variegated DK green yarn. Do you have any suggestions? A variegated DK weight green yarn. A variegated DK weight. All right. Well, I'm also going to ask the rest of the community here to weigh in on this one. I don't get my hands on a whole lot of DK weight yarn because here in Canada, what's available to us is primarily Bernhardt, uh, uh, Bern Bernat, Red Heart, and... Uh, Lion brand and some of the the no name versions and typically the yarn they have is size four which is a worsted or a medium or a size five which is a chunky. Now I do know that DK is close to that but it is a little bit thinner so it's a thinner size four sometimes even considered a size three. Um, I can't honestly think of any brands that make DK weight yarn off the top of my head because I don't see them that often. Um, but anybody who's in the UK who frequently gets uh, does sort of yarn shopping and buys 
DK is a lot more frequently available in the UK. Please weigh in um, and help us out here because yeah. um, I can't think of. I yeah, think. if anyone knows, put it you in the chat. You might try though if you're if you're in a way if you're in an area where you can yarn shop like a whole bunch of big brands. You can also look at um, size three, considered lightweight yarn, size three from a Red Heart. So a Red Heart size three yarn or a Burnat size three yarn. Sometimes it's considered a baby weight or a lightweight yarn, maybe even a sport weight. They have different names. Try that thickness alongside the other yarn you've got because chances are it'll be pretty darn close, if not bang on. Because um, the size three lightweight, the Red Heart especially, tends to be a little closer to a DK weight in, in from what I've experienced with DK. So I hope that helps. And everybody else, if you if you know um, common brands that make a DK, specifically a double knitting DK weight yarn, please post because uh, that would be really helpful. <laughs> Thank you. Bing, bing. <laughs> we have a super chat from Lulu Petals. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Lulu. <laughs> Lulu says, I want to say, I love you too. <laughs> Exo Lou from Shelburne. Thank you. Aw. Oh, Shelburne, cool. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope I didn't miss anyone else. I know that um I get talking. I've, and you I've get been distracted. I've been told a few times that I I may have missed one or two, but I'm scrolling through here. And like I said, the chat is kind of acting funny today. It sort of appears and disappears and then reloads. So if I missed one, guys, just let me know. Maybe it's um it's acting a little delayed or something. Honolulu, Honolulu, Honolulu. <laughs> <laughs> we have another super chat from for chat from Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> I said it right this time. Yes, Jackie. I believe it's the same Jackie. In the UK? Yes. So, DK, any information about DK? <laughs> um, no, I don't see anyone. If anyone, yeah. Um, Lion Brand. Did yeah, Jackie some have people, anything to say? Jackie says, I am doing the 2019 calendar blanket. What is a folk blanket? Hmm, oh. Well. Folk, as in folk art. Folk art. Yes. So, um what can I say about it that doesn't give much away? We like to reveal, if you've never done a blanket along with us before, we like to reveal a surprise each month as we go. So it's it kind of, it's a it's definitely a crochet along, but it's also sort of a, of a bit of a puzzle. It comes together and by the end, you can sort of see the, the all over thing. This one is definitely more so, sort of full of surprises than some of our previous blankets because uh, you might not have known what was coming, but you kind of had an idea. So this month, this year, we're doing something really, really different, but it's got a folk art feel to it. Uh, folk art is a kind of art that is generally considered of the people. It's not necessarily something that you had to go away and study for. It's not uh, considered like a fine art. Um, and it's not usually associated with a specific set of artistic um, trends or details. In fact, folk art often grows up in little isolated bubbles so that you, you can often look at a kind of folk art and say, Oh, that is, you know, Mexican circa 1900 and, you know, five or, oh, that is, that is Prairie American circa 1930. So like it, it's not, it's art for art's sake. It's, it's people who are regular, who have an artistic hunger and they want to express themselves and they use whatever they have available. So whatever paints they have available, whatever tools they have available, whatever canvas they have available. And it, it's absolutely legitimate art. It's, beautiful, incredible, um, and sometimes really very important because it details the individual everyday lives of regular people as opposed to it being, you know, fancy and, and of kings and queens. So uh, folk art is really important to me. I love it. It's one of my favorite kinds of, of art. And that's why we decided to base an entire blanket on it this year. So that's what folk art is. That's the theme for this year's blanket. And we'll be revealing more and more and as the months go by. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, I just, I'm loving this ukulele. <laughs> Jackie has Jackie. given us another super chat. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. Oh, my gosh. Um, I believe she's answering the question from before. Hmm. Uh, Jackie says, style craft yarn. Style craft. Paint, I'm going to write all this down. Paint box yarn. Oh, paint box. Yeah, a few people mentioned Best paint box. for DK brand. Style craft and paint style box. Style craft and paint box. These are best for box. DK. And, um... 
Jackie, I believe, is, is from the UK. As per Jackie. So if anyone else is listening from the UK. Great. Thank you so much. Who was it that asked about? Uh, was it Angela? Was it Angela? Angela, if you're still listening. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make notes as near as I go. <laughs> I believe it was Angela. Style craft or paint box. Anyway, thank you, Jackie. Thank for, you, Jackie. Um, for answering that. I'll try and find some of that. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to look that up. Meanwhile, back with the strange um, textured yarn. So I've just gone ahead and made a granny style heart, the same one that we did in the Monday Quick Fix, using that scrubby yarn. Love it. <laughs> I didn't know how it was going to turn out. And I have to say, using the bigger hook, so that's a size six millimeter hook. Using the bigger hook, I was it was much easier to see my stitches. But because I'm using a pattern now that I've made... 12, 13, 14, 15. I think I've made around 16 of these little hearts so far. I know the pattern so well that I, I knew where to put my hook. It wasn't that difficult. So using the stranger textured yarn wasn't as challenging for this little pattern because I've worked it several times using just a plain one. And so there it is in the cotton and there it is in the scrubby. <laughs> Hearts, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> We have a super chat from Maggie. Thank you, Maggie. And Maggie says, happy to be having a crafty time working on the basket project. Need it to hold my many whips mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and use up my never ending stash. Love you both. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. I, like you got to stuff all the whips in there. So it just looks like one. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one sitting on top. <laughs> I only got one on the go. Uh, okay, so yeah, um, I love this. I'm just thinking this would make such a great little dish scrubby because it's small. You know how a, um, a steel yarn or a steel, what am I, it was steel wool, a steel wool scrubby is like about that big, maybe a little bit bigger. And it's a nice small size, so you can kind of keep control over it. I think that little heart made out of scrubby yarn makes a really good little scrubber for the kitchen sink. And I think I'm going to use up the rest of this fall making these. So everybody, everybody in the fam is going to get one of those. <laughs> I think mom and stitches will like that. <laughs> um, for sure. Yeah, this is, it's such a bright, cheerful color. I love this one's ducky, by the way. Um, uh, this is the ducky red heart yes, scrubby. Ducky. I like it. Mr. and Stitches picked out this That color. was my choice. Yes. Because I love ducks. Um, so I have to say, using using a different textured yarn is a lot easier, especially if you use a bigger hook, and you're using a pattern that you're familiar with. I'm going to go ahead and make another one here and see if I have any different feelings about it. <laughs> Sipping margaritas. In Hawaii. I was way off with that one. <laughs> I like the feeling of it. <laughs> the feeling's right. The feeling's in the right The feeling's place. there. Um, we have another super chat from Miss UK Jackie. <laughs> Jackie. I'm going to start calling her Jackie UK. Jackie UK. Uh, Jackie is answering uh, the question again. She also says, wool warehouse. Wool warehouse. Or love crochet. Love crochet and wool warehouse. Yeah, so you can get those DK weight love yarns crochet. there. Wool warehouse. Wool warehouse, love crochet. Thank you so much for that info. Thank you, Jackie. That is great. I've written that down. We'll find a good place to put that. That is, uh, that's really helpful. Guys, anytime you have some kind of insider information on a good place to grab yarn or different kinds of yarn or different size or fibers, or if there's a deal going on, please feel free to leave that in the comments section of the videos yeah. or in the chat. Yeah, if you're live help streaming. everyone out. Get yarn for cheap. Because we're all in different places. So we're all, we all have sort of different opportunities to shop available. Oh my and, goodness. Everyone's making me, making me work pretty hard today. <laughs> <Whew>. <laughs> That was cute. Was like... <laughs> we have another super chat from Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> Hi, I made some tiny hearts out of crochet thread and made earrings out of them. Oh my gosh, Rebecca, that's awesome. Oh, I love that idea. Did you just do one heart per ear or did you make like two and, and sew them together so that they're like a little bit stronger? Oh my gosh, what a cute idea. 
I absolutely love that. I'm going to try that next. I'm going to try that with a thread next. <laughs> That'll be challenging. Working really small is, is challenging for me. Oh, and uh, I everyone, you. I don't know if you've noticed, but we have a new yarn shopping emoji. <laughs> so if we're if you're just dis if we're discussing yarn shopping, you can use our new bag of yarn. <laughs> I love that. It's so cute. Uh, Candace just used it, <laughs> and she reminded me. <laughs> Yarn shopping. Um, I just so it goes say, like this. It goes here. I'm gonna I'm gonna show everyone how it goes. This is how. You're you're playing with the emojis. Yeah, I'm playing with the I'm emojis. I'm still sipping my tea. And then it ends there. So for everyone who's, so it starts with love yarn, buy yarn, love yarn, buy yarn, <laughs> love yarn, more yarn, more and yarn. then yarn in the house. <laughs> Is there a theme here? I think so. <laughs> Whew. I'm getting tired. I think I might have to go back to the xylophone. You, you don't have to dance every single time you... <laughs> but the dancing is the best part. It gives it, it, gives it a little bit of flair. How am I going to... Princess Francis says I have to earn my ticket to... Hop. Hawaii. Oh, so oh yeah. How am I going to earn my ticket if I don't dance and sing <laughs> and play? Well, then you're going to have to wear like the grass skirt because that's part of it. I well, think. maybe you should make me one out of yarn. Maybe. Oh, I love I that. I was idea. kidding. No, I'm ready. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding, yeah, kidding. Yarn. kidding. Okay. Let me get to these super chats. <laughs> First one's from Teresa. And Teresa says DK was for dark green yarn. LOL. Love you guys. Oh, We're dark green. <laughs> dark green. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> We've been saying DK weight this whole dark time. Green. Okay, so the question then really is where can I find dark green yarn? Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That changes everything. <laughs> All right, quickly. Um, Red Heart has several different shades of green. They have a beautiful forest green. They have, a, they have one called Sage. I think they have one called Thyme. Burnett also has a sage and a thyme. And if I have one, I've got one here. This is a Burnett premium. Come here, you. Oh, this is gorgeous. So this is a beautiful dark green yarn. This one's called Evergreen. So this is Burnett premium evergreen. So evergreen, uh, forest green, emerald green, any of the greens that sort of fall on the lower end of the, of the, the color spectrum would be just fine. You just want a green that's darker than the lighter shade of green you've got. So as long as if you hold those two greens together, one looks obviously darker and one looks obviously lighter. So I think it Ther matter, Teresa's but... working on the blanket. Okay, yeah. So that was the question, that was the question. In, regard, in regards <laughs> Sorry, to the Teresa. full dark blanket. <laughs> We got carried away on this. We were However, like, DK, this, DK, DK super helpful information. Thank you. But yes, um, the Burnett, it depends on what brand you're using already. Like I said, you can mix your brands together. I'm you using can all, we also mentioned in the video, you can mix your like you can vary your colors. They don't have to be exactly like uh, as long as if you're using though the two blues and the two greens, as long as if you hold them together, one is obviously lighter and the other one is obviously mm -hmm. darker. Doesn't That's matter. Fine. Looks great. It'll look fine. Absolutely. Yeah. Moving on to Crimson Panther. Crimson Panther, hey another super chat. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you uh, very Crimson much. Panthers says made the perfect um made the perfect for toque of yours. Made right. the perfect Toque of yours out of Patton's alpaca blend Ooh. in black cherry. Ooh. Now making a waffle stitch cowl to match. Oh my god. One of my faves. Wow, what a that sounds nice. That sounds black like black cherry, yeah. High end like set though. That yeah, sounds that really sounds nice. beautiful. Whoever's getting that is really lucky. Thank you. <laughs> Thank and you. I think there's another couple here. Um the once again, guys, the chat is acting funny today. It 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 keeps kind of glitching. So let me see. We have a couple more. Yes, we do. Okay. <laughs> we have two more Super Chats. Uh, first one's from Bethany. Thank you, Bethany. Bethany says, I was guilty of yarn therapy yesterday. <laughs> a little yarn shopping. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> I love that kind of therapy. Uh, but, I, but I was able to get yarn to make your granny square hearts for a blanket. Awesome. Awesome. Woo. I love it. A little yarn therapy. Uh -huh. oh. And MZ That's says, perfect for February. me and my five-year-old Maggie love watching you guys. Aww. Oh, that's Thank so you. Cute. Thank Hi, you both Maggie. of you. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Maggie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
That is so cute. A little tune for Maggie there. <laughs> All right, these come together pretty quick. I just wanted to say, um, I'm having little, little thoughts occur to me as I go, as I'm making these things. So one of the reasons that maybe this heart lends itself, um, this heart pattern lends itself to being made with strange textures of yarn. So like eyelash or fur or uh, weird bulky weights is because there's big spaces created in the first row. So I'm just gonna do one again really quickly here. I'll show you what I mean. Um, you're, you're creating, because you're starting with a typical kind of granny square row one, you've got a very obvious circle to work into. So whether you make it a chained ring or a cinch circle like I'm doing, you've got an obvious place to work your, your stitches. So you work your first three stitches, chain two, and then you start your next three and there's big spaces in between those shells. So it's relatively easy to see what you're doing in the first row. You've got a big space to work into, your shells are only three stitches long, so counting, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three isn't that difficult. You're putting two chains in between those shells, so you're creating big spaces in between the shells. And then when you go to stitch, sort of like cinch the whole thing up, you've got that little tail hanging out. It's not, it's not very difficult to see. I'm just gonna actually make my circle a little smaller here. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> we have a super chat oh from gosh. Tanya. Thank you, Tanya. <laughs> Tanya says, would love to see the heart in a mitered square. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That would be interesting. You could totally do that. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you've set her off, Tanya. Oh, yeah. Guess you've what? You've given her a mission. <laughs> oh, boy. Mitered heart square. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's so, that is, that is so doable. Yeah. <laughs> I love that um, idea. Aaron says, Mr. and Mrs. in stitches, I am new to crochet and I don't know how to make a granny square. Oh. Well, we have many tutorials on YouTube for that. But there's one we recommend if you're a beginner. It's our granny square for beginner tutorial. Um, you can search it's a green and blue. It's a, it's a green and blue, green granny, and blue square. granny square. And it should say for beginners in the title. Mm -hmm. um, and we put the link in there, but Mr. Stitches would have to go find it. And it's kind of, it's kind of buried right now, but just search. If you go to the search bar in YouTube, search Jada and Stitches, beginner granny square tutorial, and they should show up, should show up. It'll be a green and blue granny square thumbnail, or you can click on our name, go to the channel homepage, go to videos, and you can use the little search bar inside the videos um, tab, and it'll, same thing, you know, granny squares and that one will pop up. It's a nice, long, slow tutorial. So you can pause anytime you need to, but we go really slowly. So we're showing you how to do the double crochet. We're showing you how you change, like how you turn corners. It's a really in-depth look at the, at the granny square and it should get you started making granny squares. <laughs> I'm switching to water. See, when I play, you can take a break. I can. I can have a little sip of water. <laughs> Teresa says, Mr. and Stitches, you have missed your calling. Ukulele! <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you. <laughs> I will take my bow. Here, you can take his bow now. Um, <laughs> this heart, so because there's those four really big spaces in row one, and you can even see them, you can easily see them to stick your fingers in. That kind of gives you an idea of where all of your stitches are. So it's it makes it easier to use this crazy textured yarn to make one of these little heart scrubbies. And I've already made two of them. Then you just find your, you're just basically, because the second row is mainly looking at the, the large spaces, you're looking for the first big space, the second big space, and then you're working into the very bottom of middle of the shell. So it's relatively easy to see all of the um, the stitches you need to work into here, especially if you use the bigger hook. I've linked the um, tutorial right there in the chat. If, oh, uh, if, for those of you that aren't aware of it, there's a step-by-step -step video tutorial on the little heart Jada's yes. making. Yes, we did it on Monday. It's a little quick fix. Um, and then on Friday, we showed you guys how to turn it into an actual granny square. <laughs> um, so this heart has a lot of applications, I gotta say. And I'm loving how this looks as a little, a little scrubby. It's so darn cute. <laughs> Diane wants to see me on camera today, but because I haven't primped, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you in emojis what I look like today. So there, that's what I look like. That little wizard chibi. <laughs> what 
what Mr. Zitch is really saying is that he needs a haircut because he looks like oh boy, a I vagabond. <laughs> Got to get, we got to get down to see, see Mama and Stitches. She can give you a haircut. Get, get, get a nice trim. Get a nice trim. <laughs> so there we go. There's another one. There's I'm not one. primped today, everyone. <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay, so I've just sat here making three. I had, I had quite a lot of this scrubby yarn left over. <laughs> I'm just weaving in my little tails. Mister and Stitches is giggling. It's kind of fun. It's like there's two parties going on. There's the party that. <laughs> I'm I'm seeing it because everyone's making me laugh. <laughs> and then there's the one I'm that getting lots of funny is... comments, <laughs> lots of emojis. Aww. Remember to use um our emojis, guys. If you're a member and you aren't aware, you click the little happy face at the bottom of the chat, and there's the first set at the top are all our our own custom emojis that you can use. So if you're a member. Make sure you use them. Yeah, that's fun. They're cute. All right, I've got three. La la la. So that was another thing you might think about doing with that cute little heart. So these great little scrubbies. <laughs> wow, you made those up. Quick. I know. My that's goodness. fun. It's it's fun. And that's the tricky yarn. Yeah, and now but now because of because of this particular pattern, because it's based mostly on big spaces, it's not too difficult to navigate. So it's a fun little one to try if you've got some leftover scrubby or weird textured material lying, lying around and you want to try to sort of make a couple of little hearts. It's cute. Um, this, the same one made out of cotton, makes a really nice face scrubby. So I'm definitely going to make a few more of those. But uh, we were saying too, in the quick fix video, if you made up a whole bunch of these, you could string them together into a cute little garland, um, a little Valentine's Day decor. And uh, that would be really cute too. You can, this would be, we did a, a live stream a while ago where we were talking about making garlands. And there's two different ways to make a garland. Um, actually, there's a lot of ways to make a garland. So, <laughs> but what I mean is there's when you're sort of crocheting or chaining a bunch of things together, um, this would be one of those shapes that's a two anchor thing. So you'd chain up to it, anchor one here, chain a couple, anchor it there, and then chain away to, to add your next one. So you would anchor your, your little garland string in two different places. And that would, unless you want them to hang on an, on an angle, but if you want them to sort of sit upright, anchor them in two places. I love these little hearts. I think I'm going to make another one with this cotton. See how much of this cotton I have left. Um, I don't know how long you want to go today, but we're already past an hour. Are we past an hour? Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious. I have so much fun sitting here yakking with everyone. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm going to make one more. It's up to you. One more little heart, and we'll answer. Um, if anybody's got any questions about the heart or the heart granny square that I we think, just did, then... I think I'm going to switch to the bell because... Are you... I'm having trouble uh, typing and holding and, the little, snuggling, the little ukulele, snuggling hug, ukulele. hugging this little toy here. <laughs> That's why I didn't see it. You kind of had it tucked under your shirt. Well, it's so small. It is. It's a cute little thing. It's so cute. You want to show everyone sure. the little... This is this is the ukulele. <laughs> That's our little friend, Yuki. It's uh, so cute. I love that. <laughs> That's, it's such a sweet little little thing. <laughs> It's small enough that you can sneak it into the. Uh, I can fit fit it in my pocket. You can fit it in your pocket. <laughs> um, <laughs> I I've only had a chance. I haven't had a chance to read too many of the um, comments on the Granny Square uh, tutorial that we posted on Friday. I have to <laughs> catch up with comments, but um, if anybody has any pressing questions, don't hesitate to let us know. <laughs> We have a super chat from Courtney. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Courtney. Courtney says, "Good Courtney morning, good morning oh. from New Zealand." Oh, good love morning. your videos. Thank you. Good morning. That's so neat. Uh, and I wanted to share this because it made me it made me giggle. Lori says, "Love your little people when they go across the screen <laughs> singing." <laughs> well, just so you know, guys, thank that's you. that's that's usually me. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Instages is our in-house uh, um, uh, <laughs> animator. In-house, in-house animator. In-house animator. I'm, I'm just whipping up another one of these little hearts <laughs> using the cotton. It's four. Let's see how quickly I can get this done here. Two. 
And the more familiar you are with a pattern, the faster you can work it, which is another reason it's fun. To um, Princess Frances asked where we got the, the ukulele. I think it was Amazon, wasn't it? I think we purchased it from Amazon. Yeah, we purchased. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because it, it came. But I think it actually came from it came from the States. Oh, um, it wasn't. It was one of those um, like it came from someone else, but it was shipped by Amazon. Yeah, um, it's. uh it I'm it it was Amazon. We ordered it through Amazon. We ordered it through Amazon, yeah. and I don't think it's specifically from Hawaii, but I know it is from the United States. But I can't remember offhand where. It's like designed in Hawaii or something. Like it's authentically designed, but then it's made somewhere else in the. It's probably made in China and then assembled in the states. It was yeah, a cute little thing. We were we were really we, we did a lot of research before we picked it out because we we wanted we wanted one that sounded really nice and we loved the sound of this one. So mm -hmm. it's got such a sweet little sound. All right. I am. <laughs> yes, the TVs have a ukulele too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure um we did an animation where they're playing guitar yes, or something. Yes, they're sitting by the, 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 the campfire. Oh, there's two of them. There's one where they're sitting by the campfire playing guitar. And then there's another one where they're, um, yeah. or the other guys playing guitar. I don't know. There's two. There's two. <laughs> I can't remember. There's so many now. I know. It's been, it's been five years now. It's been <laughs> five years of, a, of animating. All right. There. I've got two now. That's two little... Two little cotton scrubby hearts. So I'm going to use those for my face. That was sort of, I have just a tiny wee bit of cotton left over now. Not enough to make another heart. And I've got quite a bit of the scrubby left. So I'll certainly be able to make a few more of these. These are definitely going into the kitchen. I'm going to use one. I'm going to get, bring one down to, that to looks Mama great. and Stitches. Wow, with that tricky yarn. Isn't that Can you hold it a little closer to the camera? Can you hold it? Yeah. Come on, focus. Focus. Hold another one up. Yeah. Wow, that looks great. It's not bad, eh? Um, Lulu asked, "Can you make the hearts bigger?" If you, yeah, we sort of talked a little bit about this at the beginning. Um, the easiest way to upsize the pattern would be to use a thicker yarn and a bigger hook. So, for example, if you used a Bernat blanket yarn, like a size six bulky and an eight millimeter hook, that would make them quite big. Um, Bernat also makes a size six bulky cotton yarn. Um, so if you wanted to use it, uh, make like a little coaster or something out of it, then the size six bulky cotton yarn would be a good good choice for that because then the cotton would absorb any liquid and it wouldn't melt if like a big hot <laughs> thing sat on it. I have to share this comment from uh, Ariane, uh, Ariane, Ariane. I hope I got that right. <laughs> I'm cleaning as li as I'm listening and I forgot and propped my phone up in the cupboard. I walked away, and when I came back, my cupboard was giggling. <laughs> ha, 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 it spooked me a bit. <laughs> so you and I were stashed in her cupboard. We like, were stashed. <laughs> That's crochet neat. goblins. I like that. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's really neat. Um, but if you were thinking about modifying the pattern. What like about if, using a thicker yarn? Yeah, I just, I just said that. Sorry. The thicker yarn and a larger hook. But it's a, it's, this is one of those situations where it's finite. So in order to get the actual heart shape and the way that we, we use the, we combine the double crochet and the single crochet, it's finite. So you can't do like <laughs> four rows of granny square and then create sort of, and do one row to create the, the round thing. It won't work out properly. And that's because hearts are kind of a funny shape to, to fiddle with. So um, if you want to, to make this pattern bigger, you have to use a larger yarn, like a size six bulky <laughs> and a larger hook. Um, Otherwise, or you can use two strands held together in a larger hook. So if you have two strands of, say, a, like a medium size four yarn, um, use those together with a, an eight millimeter hook and it'll size up. So you could use two strands of regular cotton yarn and it would size up quite a bit. And you could have like a, a coaster sized heart because that's not too, that's not too, too small. It's about the center of a regular coaster. I've got a coaster here. So that's a regular coaster size and that fits pretty much right in the middle of it. Um, so you can hold two strands together and it'll be about the size of the square that's sitting against. Or you can use the cotton, make the heart, and then get another color of cotton and work the first row of the granny heart square in a cotton. And that'll square it off and it'll be about that big. So that's another thing you can try. 
<laughs> we have a super chat from Patricia. Patricia, thank you, Patricia. Patricia says, so glad to get in while you're still live. We're still here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Love your show and have sent um and have sent beginning crocheters your way. Oh, thank Thanks you. Thanks for all the tutorials. Thank you so much. Well, we're happy to try and help anybody who's trying to get a start here in the world of crochet. It's um it's such a great craft. I know actually a lot of us have been chatting, you know, in various places lately about how crochet kind of helps keep us sane if we're suffering or we're stuck in bed or we're depressed, especially if we're just dealing with the general blah blues of, of uh, the winter Of the time. middle of the winter. Yeah. So um, crochet is, and knitting, any one of those little tiny sort of, you can sort of be in your own little world, your own little bubble and, and work on a, on a little craft. Um, it is just one of the greatest things we can do for ourselves. It is a moment of Zen. It's a moment of peace. Um, you can sit and work on something for yourself or you can eventually make something to give somebody else. And it's just, it's just wonderful. So we love it. We love being able to sit down and share it with everybody. We love these sitting down and just all of us chatting and sharing what we're up to, sharing helpful tips. And you guys have been great lately sharing tips and ideas and suggestions in the comments of our videos. So thank you guys so much. Um, that is just wonderful. And I haven't, like I said, caught up with all of the comments of the most recent video yet. Um, so I wasn't able to have any answers to frequently asked questions ready for the square. But um, we did note that on the quick fix on Monday, uh, some people had suggested that if we used cotton, it would make a nice little face scrubby. And I totally agree. So that's some Burnett variegated handicrafter cotton, just a little bit of leftover that I had. And I had a really small amount left over and I was still able to make two. I used the same hook that we did in the um, quick fix, which was five and a half millimeter. And it makes a nice little scrubby for your face. Plus, if it's made out of cotton, you can toss them in the washing machine, wash them and reuse them, which is great. Reusable. Love that. Uh, so yeah, that was that was neat. That was fun. And now I love it with the I have to say because of the weight of this yarn, that's the same size part. But wow, does it ever like it feels so different than the cotton. This feels so lightweight compared to this. This has got a real a real little heft to it. That is a that yarn's got a lot of weight. So I think that's gonna make a great little pot scrubber. It's just big enough that I can hold it and work a little corner in a pot, work around the edges and it's polyester. So it's not gonna scrape or scratch your pots or anything. So if you were worried about that, don't be worried about that. And uh, I've made three of those already and I've still got all of this yarn left over. I could definitely make a few more. Is there any questions before maybe we wrap it up for the day and uh, I get back and actually do some dishes? <laughs> Actually do dishes? Actually do some dishes. <laughs> Why bother? Just throw them outside. <laughs> let, let the birds lick them. <laughs> <laughs> let the squirrels and the birds uh, eat. <laughs> um, no, everyone's just kind of saying, you know, hello and sharing um, some stories. Great. Um, <laughs> All right. Well, that's, that's, that's great. I think we covered actually quite a lot of ground in um, talking about Certainly how to make a simple little shape using different variegated or different textured yarns. Um, it's fun. It's fun to experiment with these different kinds of yarns with a simple pattern. So you want to have a simple pattern handy, something that's no more than like two rows, kind of like this little heart. And it gives you an opportunity to sort of see how it looks with different colors, different styles of yarn, different textures, maybe even different fibers. I've used completely different fibers here. So this is, that's 100% acrylic. That's 100% cotton, and that's 100% polyester. We have a question from um, from A. Gracie here um, that maybe everyone else can can chime in the chat and, and help out. Does anyone know a good online place to buy yarn that offers free shipping other than Amazon? Uh, I can't afford to buy 100 bucks worth of yarn uh, of stuff and get free shipping. So if anyone knows of any other yarn suppliers that offer free shipping, um, if you could just put it in the chat. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't really know anyone besides Amazon, uh, but you have to be over. I think it's uh, I don't know if it's 100. I think it's more like like 30 or 35. Well, if you're a prime member at Amazon, then your shipping's always free. Yeah. Um, and I think if you just take like regular it's, few it's days two, shipping, it's, it's still two days, free. Two days, two days free. is free. Yeah, two days. Yeah, so that's that's fine. Um, but but what about people like, remember everyone was telling us about uh, like Premier and uh, what are those other stores? Um, 
AC Moore, AC Moore, uh, Joanne, Joanne, and Hobby Lobby. And Hobby Lobby. I wonder if they have uh, free shipping. I don't. I know. So, for example, we don't know. AC Moore is, I think, of those three, is the only one that ships up to Canada. Uh, but there's there's shipping charge, and then there's also duty. So, if you're ordering from a website. Be sure to check all of those that fine print to make sure that that if it's coming from another country, mm -hmm. that you're not going to have to pay duty on it when it yes. arrives at the border because they're not responsible for that. You are. And sometimes that can be a ridiculous amount of money and you won't even know what it is until it gets to the border, which is really frustrating. Um, so uh, of those three, we know AC more ships up here, but I don't even know what the duty would necessarily be at the border. So I'm a little bit hesitant to, to buy just because, yeah, you don't want to spend all that extra money in, in duty when, you know, you probably could have picked it up at Amazon or you could have saved the $10 or the $20 or even the $50, whatever the duty is, and just, yeah. you know, gone to the corner store and being able to get some there. So uh, definitely check into that. And if anybody has any stories, Good, bad, or otherwise, please share. please share. Yeah, I'm ordering yarn from other countries. What is the duty on that? Because um, that would be really helpful mm -hmm. for everybody to know, too. Stephen, thank you. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding. We have a couple of super chats oh here goodness. to get to. And the, the chat is acting funny again. Oh, uh -oh. boy. Uh, okay, Amanda here says Walmart Walmart.com offers th free shipping on purchases over $35. Walmart, okay. So that's good to that's know. That's a good one to know. Uh, free shipping. Thank oh, you, there's Amanda. There's uh, Granny Banani also says free shipping from Walmart, from Walmart. over $35. Okay. Um, that's not too bad. I mean, you no. can easily get, um, rack up $35 in yarn. Yeah. Okay, two super yeah. chats here. The first one is from Tease Crafty Creations. Thank you, Tease. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jada. Just love you. What border do you recommend for your corner to corner blanket that is pretty decorative? Um, actually, in that corner to corner blanket tutorial, so the baby blanket, we did a corner to corner baby blanket tutorial, and we have a little decorative border included in that video. It's a little tiny shell stitch. So it's really cute. It's easy to work across that block and it's subtle. It's small. It doesn't take away from the rest of the, of the sort of the neat block style of the blanket, but it also covers up those little edges. So it just gives the blanket a little bit of a finishing touch. That's my favorite border for um, working the corner to corner. It's just, it's, it's cute. And it's, it's, and it's not too freely that it wouldn't be okay for a boy if you were making like a blanket for a boy. Um, it's just a nice way to finish off the edges of the blanket, to be honest. You could also do a plain old, um, like a plain old crochet or double crochet, but the little tiny, the miniature um, scallop border is just like, it's cute and it's small and it's subtle and it doesn't take up a whole lot of yarn. So that's the one I recommend. It's really cute. And it's part of that video tutorial that we did. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's my favorite for that. And uh, second super chat here is from Nene's. Hi, Nene's. Thank you. <laughs> Nene says, hi, guys. I'm attaching a heart to a card for my hubby for Valentine's. Oh, I love that. Also doing a Dungeons and Dragons theme and will be giving him things as part of the campaign, including a crocheted rose. Oh, how nice. I like that. And did you make him a dice bag? Because a dice bag. he's got to have one of those. Yes. <laughs> Good idea. Um, I would recommend the charm bag tutorial we have. It's an older one, um, but if you're comfortable uh, with the basic concept of a, of a little bag, it's easy to follow. We were just kind of like vlogging as we made it, but that's a nice little size. Um, and the apple, the apple sack we just did, this little guy. Uh, come here, you. That's a nice size to keep a bunch of those dice uh, in. So uh, I recommend a little dice bag too. <laughs> uh, what a nice idea. I love that. <laughs> I made another little scrappy while I was sitting here. <laughs> Lots of people sharing uh, where you can get yarn. It looks like as though Walmart's popping so up Walmart. a lot. Walmart, okay. That's so great to Walmart know. Walmart does free shipping past 35 bucks. Which, so that's walmart.com. That's .com. So that would be... That's the American. Uh, the American one. I don't know if uh, what they're... But I mean, Walmart is in a lot of countries. So. It is. Yeah. Um, I don't know what... I don't know 
what it would be here in Canada, but that's probably, a good, probably the same. Probably similar. Yeah, yeah Walmart's I, a I would say behemoth. So I would say it's similar here. You can um, double check that on there. So go to go to if if you have Walmart's in your country, <laughs> go to their website and they should automatically put you in your company or your country's version of their website and then check out their their online shipping. Oh, here we go from Lori. Yarn Canada is over forty five dollars. Yarn Canada. Yeah. Forty five dollars. Uh, but she says their prices are a bit high. Mm, yeah. Gosh. Yeah, I think it depends on when when you catch it. Um, you know, sometimes sometimes they have really good deals. Well, yeah. Um, um every once in a while, um, you know, maybe, maybe that makes me. You gotta think. just keep like you just gotta keep checking in every few weeks. I haven't thought to recently, but Amazon, every once in a while, Amazon has these like around Christmas, for example, they had these this thing called now. If you're a prime member, I don't know if this works if you're not a prime member, but they do this thing sometimes it's like an add-on. Yeah. So like they I have think that's prime members only. Is it prime members I only? I think so. I have to say, I mean, not not to give Amazon a plug or anything, but but being if you tend to order online a lot and you order a lot of stuff, it's helpful to have a membership with a place that you order things from. Mm -hmm. Um that is that it, it pays for itself relatively quickly. So and it's not that expensive. It's not too bad. As um, long as you're ordering as long as you're more ordering than regularly. more than a few times, yeah. like a few times a year. Yeah, like for us, if you're only going to do it once or twice a year, it's if not you worth live it, rurally, like if you live in a rural area, it's helpful to be able to order online because if the mail can get to you, then then te technically the people shipping can get to you. Um, so if you if you live in a in a rural a rural urban area and it's just you know it's five minutes to the store kind of a thing then maybe it's not the best option. But if you live in a rural area and you just don't have a lot of different shopping options close by, then being able to shop online is really wonderful. And if if that if a place where you shop a lot like an Amazon or Walmart offers some kind of club membership or something where you get like breaks on shipping or they maybe it's free shipping where they give you like coupons or deals then look into it like really consider it if you're the type of person that okay wants to order every online a lot. uh everyone is sharing a lot of different like companies this that great. that do online shipping and there's a lot of different names here in the chat um it looks as though everyone has like uh you know uh order so much uh, and, or, yeah uh, it hovers between it looks like 35 and 50 dollars so um the one here that stood out was that i believe it's hobby lobby will do free shipping once in a while mm. so i guess if maybe you sign up that's another thing you can do if you don't mind getting a, a few emails <laughs> Sign up to people's newsletters like um, Hobby Lobby or Michael's, and then mm -hmm. they'll, they'll let you know when they're doing a, a special. And sometimes they'll send you coupons and stuff too. Yeah, like Michael's. Mm -hmm. Michael's sends uh, coupons for, you know, buy two get one free stuff. The only problem with that is that you'll get it. You'll get messages in your inbox saying sale sixty percent off, and you're like ah, and you run to the store. <laughs> And you, and you spend too much. <laughs> <laughs> it can be tempting. Mm. Yeah, so there's Goodness. lots of information well, that's there. Great. I hope that helps. Thank you, everybody, for sharing. That's wonderful. I'm I'm uh, just working on I, I can't stop. Now I've gotten into the habit of making a bunch of these, and I'm going to see how many I can get out of the rest of this ball. <laughs> Hirschner's has a club that has free shipping. They do? Okay. Um, oh, wow, this is great. Oh, here. Kimmy says Hirschner's is doing 0 .09, I believe that's cents, shipping today. Oh my gosh. So if you order, you just pay nine cents and ship it? Oh my gosh. Or is it like nine cents per thing? Because even that is still a Even deal. that is super cheap. Wow. Because yarn's not heavy. So it no, won't. No, it's uh, not. And it's not, and it's squishy. You can, you can it squish it. very squishy. You don't have to worry about yarn kind of getting damaged on the way, you know, preferably like in the mail, unless of course it gets sopping wet. That might be a bit annoying. But <laughs> typically <laughs> yarn doesn't, typically your mail doesn't get really, really wet. But uh, yeah, yarn's a nice thing to order online because you don't have to worry about it. It's not fragile, right? Now, here's someone else saying that yarn.com sometimes has free shipping. Okay, so it doesn't look like everyone has free shipping steadily. Okay. I guess they just run deals. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. You know, they want to kind of attract a little bit of, of attention sometimes. But uh, that's um, really good to know. Yeah, Thanks, well, there's lots of information here for everybody, so...
think I'm gonna I'm gonna make Boy, it. the um chat is really acting strange. Is it still acting funny? Yeah, it, it's um something's wrong with it. It's been acting weird all day. It must be they must be monkeying around in the behind the scenes with the with the software, I guess. Or it's just gremlins. It could be I don't know. It could be internet gremlins. It's gre it's gremlins. We we have our fair share of those here. That's for heaven. That's, that's for sure. <laughs> it's not uh it's acting strange. Strange. What is going on? Well, um, maybe we should take this opportunity to sort of wrap things up and thank everybody and say goodbye for the rest of Sunday and just uh, wish you all a wonderful week. Um, and if you haven't had a chance to check out this cute little heart and make a few for yourself, especially if you want to make little scrubbies or something, highly recommend the scrubby. This is really, really fun. I've been sitting here whipping up a whole bunch of them. Um, it's the quick fix that we put up on Monday this week, and uh, we'll leave links to everything we talked about today in the description box once this becomes a video. So after we finish streaming, just give us about 15, 20 minutes for it to finish processing, and then uh, we'll add some, some links to the patterns that we talked about today in the description box. So we talked about the little heart, we talked about the granny square that we turned this heart into, and also our little heart pillow. So you can make a small one, you can make a big one, like this one that I'm using right here. And uh, hearts, hearts, hearts plus, we'll also include the link to our, um, our Valentine's Day playlist so that you can check out some of the other sort of warm oh, yeah, and fuzzy, the warm and fuzzy gonna, loving things. That right now oh, okay. Here. Yeah, we've got a we've Valentine's got, Day playlist. We've got a whole bunch of different videos for for with a Valentine'sy sort of flavor to them. Yeah, for anyone who's interested. Yeah, if you want to, and a lot of them are like really quick projects. So if you're kind of thinking about wanting to put together a last minute thing for for kids, or maybe your your child's um, teacher, or your 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 snuggly bugly, or um, or your best friend, I like to send uh, Valentines to all of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, then it's there's some of these things are kind of fun. You can whip them up last minute, like these little hearts. Um, there's another one. Bye -bye. A few people here don't want us to leave. Oh, sorry, and, guys. <laughs> I do have dishes. I have to. <laughs> Karen wants wants me to ukulele ukulele you out. Soon. Ukulele is <laughs> I think you could probably manage that. All right. All right. So are we done for today? I, I think we're done for today. All right. Thank so. you, guys. Mr. and Stitches is going to play some luau music while we thank you all. <laughs> thank you guys for sitting with us and spending some time doing a little crochet, having a little, a little chat, sharing some great tips, and a nice way to unwind on a Sunday afternoon. We hope your week upcoming will be wonderful. Stay safe. Look after each other. Stay crafty. And we will see you really, really soon here on the Jade and Stitches show. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the super chats, for all the warm and wonderful wishes. And um, we will see you really soon. Bye, Bye guys. Everyone. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>